ओम भूर्भुव स्व तत्सर्वेण्यम भार्गो दीमहो यो न प्रचोदय ओम भूर्भुव स्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भार्गो दीमहि धियो यो न प्रचोदय ओम भूर्भुव स्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भार्गो दीमहि धियो यो न प्रचोदय ओम भूर्भुव स्व तत्सुर्वरेण्यम भार्गो दीमहि धियो यो न प्रचोदय Well, welcome this morning. Ah, you could hear the birds chirping. On a bright, beautiful day, the sun is up. A little chilly here in Jamaica, Queens, New York. I hope where you are in India or Nepal or Guyana, Trinidad, any part of the world, Fiji. Hope it's warmer. Anyway, we want to send um, condolences and blessings. to the people of india because you listen to the news and so many cases of covid is coming back on so many deaths and i'm sure it's very traumatic for to lose a loved one we all have and one we all had that opportunity of um of like having that experience well today i want to just um invoke the blessings of acharya day swami pranavananda ji maharaj and um we want to pay adorations to him because he's the guru of bharat seva ashram shang and um we are so blessed to have a modern day guru who uh, applies the principles of modern day all practical for the welfare of the, uh, not only india but all over the world So let's pay adorations to him. Let us surrender our minds to him. Bhavare man pranavanand guru rupo manohari pati tabandhu premer sindhu bhaktaranjan kari bhavare man pranavanand गुरु रूपो मनोहारी नीलेन्द्रे बारा निंदी नयन स्नेहो डाला कमल अनुन कोटि इंदु सुंदर सुमधुर भलिहारी भावरे मन प्रणवानंद गुरु रूपो मनोहारी ऑल लेट अस सरेंडर द आवर माइंड्स टू द लॉर्ड If we call him the Christ, the Buddha, Lord Shiva, Krishna Bhagwan, Mother Durga, whoever you call that Lord of yours, you we surrender to that Lord today. The truth is, I want to tell you a beautiful story. You know, in our scriptures, their sources of our scriptures is coming back way back. There are four sources that the Vedas, when the saints. the holy men were sitting in meditation way back maybe so long ago they the knowledge was transmitted by that god without name and form it was transmitted in form of the vedas and then up upanishads and this is the main source of our the ancient hinduism but then later on there were the uh, puranas that came in and there are allegorical stories that support the vedas and the uh, upanishads to clarify allegorical meaning their stories that are so beautiful and so profound that they break down and simplify the vedas and then we have the itihas or the history and the main two histories of our hinduism is the ramayana and the mahabharat the stories and from the mahabharat came out the um the um bhagavad gita and then from the ramayana war we know the um uh, uh, the ramayana the book that came out 
and Bhagwan Sri Ram, Bhagwan Sri Krishna. They are our main source of our history. And then we have also Mother Durga and Lord Shiva. But the, in the, the history is coming from those books. And then we have from the spiritual masters, like Swami Panavananji, Sri Ramakrishna, and all the great souls, um, realized souls. And m many of them, they created ashrams, like the Buddha too. He's, a, he's a originally a Hindu, a Hindu born prince. And then he, um, through his experience, he related that experience and his profound wisdom and that religion came to be Buddhism. So we think of all of them as the same. But this morning I want to talk about the story that um, came out of the, um, from the, after the Mahabharat war, Yudhisthir and the, and the five brothers, they conquered the Kauravas, their first cousin. They were the main fac, um, side, both sides of the war. So now it's time after they cleaned up the place of all the bodies and the place is very clean. It is time that Yudhisthir, the elder brother, should be crowned the queen, the king. But before that, they had to get the consent and the support of the local small kingdoms ruled by smaller kings in the, all over India. So they had to do this Ashwamedha Yajya, where the horse, a horse is sent out, the animal, and on this forest, basically what it said, okay, and it is going to be let loose, and they go through all these uh, kingdoms, and in the forehead of the horses, that if you, you can do one thing, you could hold this horse and challenge Arjuna and his army, and if you win, then, um, then gifts have to be given to you. You don't have to give gifts to um, for the um, Yudhisthira crowning and if you decide not to which a lot of the kings did that you just um, surrender and then you would have appeared in the day of the Yajna in the palace to give your gifts tremendous amount of gifts but there was this one family in Mahishmati that's the name of the kingdom's place and the, the mother uh, of that kingdom is Janavi and the king is Niladwaj and their son was Praveer and his wife was uh, Madan, Madan Manjuri. So when the, um, the mother who was a very pious holy woman, very brave woman, when he heard of this he went to his husband, her husband and says Niladwaj, no we're not gonna surrender to Arjuna, we're gonna be, have, challenge him, you're gonna challenge him. And the king said, no, no, I'm not going to do that. And after all kind of persuasion, he, did, he stood his ground. He don't want to fight. So the mother went to the son, Praveer, and he said, Praveer, I'm your, I'm your mother, and I'm telling you today, this is I want what you want to do. Challenge Arjuna and his army. And, um, well, Praveer was a bit, a bit um, taken back because he knew the power of Arjuna and he has Krishna Bhagwan's blessings. And then after some time, the mother would have insulted his son, oh, aren't you a coward? And then the son succumbed and said, mother, if this is what you want, I will obey you. And then they, when Arjuna came with his army, there was a big battle because um, uh, Praveer followed the instructions of the mother and held the horse. And then the so, so fighting was going on. And then Arjuna would have realized, oh my God, all this, all this pride that he had, because Krishna Bhagwan wanted to come with him, to, uh, with Arjuna on this journey. But uh, Arjuna said, no, no, I'll manage this. Krishna Bhagwan, I don't need your help. But when he met with Praveer and arrows were showered and um, he was losing the battle, Arjuna. And then he invoked the presence of Krishna and Krishna came. And when Krishna came, he says, Arjuna, I told you, this is my devotee, Praveer, that, um, you know, it's not easy to defeat him. And there was a lot of uh, conversation going on. And then they, they, the mother and the wife and Praveer, they also solicited the help of Krishna. And um, um, they, his, his mother got the, uh, went to see Krishna in the night after when they were resting 
and she was able to get the Sodarshan chakra and the and the mace from Krishna Bhagwan. And the um, uh, Lord Shiva would have given his trident. But eventually, when they decided, the gods and goddesses decided, they asked Mother Durga, no, no, we cannot have these weapons for and given to Praveer because why? He will be unstoppable. And there was a pronouncement that when they, where there is Krishna and Arjuna, they cannot be defeat. And that word had to stay because Krishna authored those words, um, basically. Anyway, the, 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 the weapons were taken back by Mother Durga when she appeared in front of Prabir, uh, this beautiful female. And Prabir was, was uh, kind of love struck with her. And then he went into a, a, a state of um, uh, silence. And then the mother took back the weapons, all the weapons from Prabir. Now, so now it has to be a fight only between Prabir and Arjuna and Krishna's present. And to make the story short, that the Krishna would have grabbed, uh, uh, Prabhu would have asked Krishna, come on my chariot, my Lord, you know I'm your devotee. The Lord came on Prabhu's chariot. Then Arjuna said, that Lord, you promised that you're going to be by my side all the time. Then Lord Krishna went on Arjuna's chariot. And then there was that thing going, and the Leela was going on. And then it came to the point where, um, Praveer was looking at the Lord one time because he tied Lord Krishna on the tree because he said, Krishna, you're going to be on that tree there so you, you, will be, you will not be impartial. But when he looked at his uh, Arjuna chariot, Lord Krishna is in, in the, the chariot and he looked at the tree and here there Krishna was. And in that moment, Krishna, uh, Praveer got lost. He, the life force his body was there, but he would have become one with um, um, with uh, Krishna. And at that moment, Krishna Bhagwan told to Arjuna, Arjuna, just use the crescent arrow and you take off the head of Arjuna, uh, of Praveer. And then uh, Arjuna said, but he is so in one with you. And then the Lord said, yes, that what else does he want? This is what he wanted. This is what Praveer wanted, to be one with me. I'm giving you the instructions. And the head fell off of, of, came off of Praveer and fell on the ground and a light came into Krishna, meaning Praveer permanently became one with Krishna. So the mother came, um, Janavi of Praveer came and, said, and she's crying. So then the Lord said, Mother, do you, um, I could make your son come alive again. And the mother said, no. I'm crying because my son is so blessed. I wish one day will come. That is my goal in my life, to be one with you. What a powerful story. And uh, the, 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 the Praveer ended, his life was ended. And then um, he was defeated. And then Krishna and Arjuna continued the journey. And then Janavi and Neil Dwaj would have taken the gifts at the time of the Ashwamedha Yajna and give it and then Rudhisthira became king of, of that kingdom. So this is a story that says that you know what is the goal of life, self-realization, universal emancipation. That Swami Pranavadanji would have said that and this story just demonstrate that. That that wise lady, she, she, she knew this, the whole leela of the Lord and the greatness of the Lord that for us we also have to come to that place that we should not let emotions be the guiding force of our life but wisdom and when we come into contact with these great souls like Krishna Bhagwan and, and the Christ and the Buddha and Swami Pranavananda Ji then we can have this only through their, their Kripa Om Guru Kripa Hi Kevalam Guru Kripahi Kevalam Om Guru Kripahi Kevalam Guru Kripahi Kevalam Only through the grace of the, the realized soul, God manifesting himself, can we exit from this, this uh, illusion that we live in. And that story demonstrates the illusion that um, we're calling on the help of Krishna this morning 
and let us sing that nice beautiful song glorifying Bhagwan Sri Krishna Om Hari Sundar Nanda Mukunda Hari Narayan Hari Om Hari Sundar Nanda Mukunda Hari Narayan Hari Om Hari Keshav Hari Govinda Hari Narayan Hari Om Hari Sundar Nanda Mukunda Hari Narayan Hari Om Banamali Murali Dhari Govardhan Giridhari Nit Nit Karmakan Chodi Gopi Manhari Nit Nit Karmakan Chodi Gopi Manhari Hari Sundar Nanda Mukunda Hari Narayan Hari Om Aavore Gaavore Gokul Ke Pyaari Aavore Kanda Aavore Kanda Re Gokul Ke Pyaari Aavore Nacho Re Rasar Chavo Re Aavore Khan Nacho Re Gokul Ke Pyaari Hari Sundar Nanda Mukunda Hari Narayan Hari Om Hari Keshav Hari Govinda Hari Narayan Hari Om Ah, when we glorify the Lord, we become that. The vibrations, the thought of the Lord, His grace comes on us. And this morning, I hope you appreciate the story and you understand it. And the moral of the story, that when you become one with the Lord, He will be guiding you. This morning I had a beautiful yoga asana, a meditation, and this is my inspiration for whatever is happening during the day. You know, ashrams and upkeeping of ashrams is such a beautiful thing. This becomes the, the activities of the ashram and the struggles that you go to upkeep ashrams and advance ashrams all over the world. I have the opportunity of doing that. That struggle is what keeps uh, us in the state of relationship with God because we don't want to be in a comfort zone in this mundane world acquiring name and fame and acquiring wealth and enjoying the pleasures of this world no we want to be Satchidanan truth consciousness and bliss we want to be omnipotent all-powerful all-pervading existing all over the universe and we want to be om omniscient, all-knowing. There's the possibility is there. Let us pursue it diligently. This morning, again, let us look at the sun and let us grow inspiration from this sun. Hari Om Shanti Shanti Hari Om. Nice being with you and have a beautiful day. Become godlike. Nay, we are already gods and goddesses. Let let us ask the Lord to help us to rediscover that. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Well, have a beautiful day. Thank you.